It wasn't long yesterday before news broke out across the country that an Ontario provincial police officer had been shot in rural Ontario. What started out as a routine procedure turned out to be nothing routine at all. As media outlets poured into Midwestern Ontario, 37-year-old Constable Vu Pham from Huron County was in London fighting for his life. Yesterday, police remained and still remain tight-lipped on the details surrounding the occurrence. Well, the details of the actual occurrence per form part of the investigation, and uh, it would be inappropriate for me to comment on that. This is what we do know. Yesterday morning, Pham was confronted by an armed suspect on the north line of County Road 12. Eyewitness reports say anywhere from 15 to 25 shots were exchanged. Vu Pham succumbed to his injuries late yesterday afternoon in a London hospital, leaving his family, the provincial police force, and a community in shock. In nearby Walton, it's the talk of the tiny hamlet. Walton is the closest community to the crime scene, and residents at the general store this afternoon are voicing their disbelief, their shock, and their anger. Well, disbelief, awful. Like, you know, it's awful to have a police officer shot. Like I, you know, anger, I would say. I know I feel anger about it. Neighbors nearby speak the same words. Well, right now, well, we're upset. You know, we don't like to see anybody getting shot and just wondering how the officer and the people involved are. Well, that kind of surprised me because <laughs> I'm not used to stuff like that. Under the Criminal Code of Canada, the murder of a police officer is automatically considered first-degree murder, whether it be planned or deliberate. First-degree murder results in a life sentence with no chance of parole for 25 years if convicted. Huron County Road 12 is still closed off in parts to traffic while the Special Investigations Unit continues their investigation. We here at Eastlink News will continue to have details on the case and funeral arrangements later this week when they become available with possible plans being made at the rec center in Wingham. In Huron County, for Eastlink News, I'm Chris Campbell.